All right, check it out, everybody. Welcome back to more. We are taking a live look at Times Square in New York City, where they're getting ready for tonight's festivities, you know, similar to what we're doing in Las Vegas. We're also getting ready to make our New Year's resolutions, but how can you make sure to make the best one for you? Well, here with more is local psychotherapist, Dr. Patrick Scott. With You broke it down. Your resolution is to break it down into three easy tips for for everything, and that, right. that's smart. <laughs> right, and it's not often that, it's actually pretty simple if you think about it. Yeah. You know, the first thing really is that our resolutions or our goals need to be positive. We need to be moving towards something and not moving away from something, because really what we're trying to do is to drive whatever that goal, that determination into the unconscious. We talked about the gym uh, on break, and to make it an unconscious new habit takes some commitment and dedication, and right. just unconsciously we're not gonna do something that's negative. If we're avoiding something, moving away from something, Thing. If we're self-deprecating, we're putting ourselves down. That yeah. is not a resolution. That's no. not a goal. That's self-criticism. And so we want to make sure that number one, the resolution of the goal is positive. It's stated in the affirmative. I am healthy, or I do. I am a non-smoker. Mm -hmm. Things like that that really drive it into the unconscious mind that we are attaining a new level of excellence for ourselves. Okay. Well, that that sounds good to me. I mean, you don't want to start a resolution on a negative note. That's for sure. Right. Uh, okay, now here's one that uh, I notice because when you know I go to the gym, I notice that it's packed in January. Right. It's kind of <laughs> packed in February, and by March, right. I got a parking, you got a parking spot, spot in the front. Yeah, me too. I in got the that. front. So right. uh, I mean, people need to be realistic, and I, I, I mean, I think the gym could be realistic for everybody, but. It's how you approach it. Well, and I could have said, rather than be realistic, be smart. There's an acronym out there okay. that people will know. It actually stands for smart, uh, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time sensitive. So we mm -hmm. want to make sure that whatever our goals are, are uh, at first specific. They're not vague, I just want to be healthier. But that you do have a specific goal in an arena of your life that you're looking at, whether it's health and fitness or finances or relationship. You want to make sure that it's measurable. Weight is easy, diet is easy. Uh, uh, sometimes relationships are not easy mm -hmm. to measure you know the attainment of a successful or improving an existing relationship you want to make sure that it's time sensitive that whatever your goal or resolution is has a timeline has a deadline you know it is December 31st 2016 I weigh X right something that's positive that's realistic that's actually attainable by you I had a lady once who wanted the entire world to be vegan that was her stated goal she came into therapy that's not realistic. and she said I really need the entire world to stop eating meat and we had to talk about it. We I heard on the last segment the yeah. whole re perfectionistic idea. We want to make sure that whatever it is we're doing, we have control over. That, mm -hmm. that it's something we can attain. That it's not a goal for someone else or for something that's not within our grasp. Yeah, absolutely. I had this one girl who uh, she, her resolution to me was to l listen to her more. And you know, but I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, um, you forgot all yeah, about that. Yeah, I forgot all you about that. You blew past that. Uh, awesome. No, so, uh, okay, yeah. how about... Uh, you know, remember that life still goes on, right? If you can't accomplish it. Well, this is piggybacking on the realistic part. You know, it takes about, I'm gonna say 30 days to change a habit. And so if you're really determining to start a new lifestyle or really uh, live more healthfully, whatever the resolution is, remember, number one, you know, in this, this particular point that it, you have to incorporate it into your already busy life. You have children, you have a job, and, and to say that you're gonna work out four hours a day the first week, as you said, in January, the gyms are packed. Right. And by the second week of January, we're we're all exhausted. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're all exhausted. We can't sustain it. So just make sure that you can incorporate it into your life because it really is uh, a resolution is intended for the long haul. It's not a short term quick fix. Yeah. And then there's always the people that say my resolution is to not have a resolution, which is fine. Yeah. It's, it's all about happiness. Right. Whatever makes you happy. Just be positive. Dr. Patrick Scott, thank you very much. Have a great new year. Happy new year. Yeah. We will see you soon, though. Yes, you will. All right. Maria, over to you.